How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to procedurally make all these scratches you're seeing right here. It's all done in the notes, but before that, let me get into today's sponsor. All right, so the sponsor for today's video is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare also offers classes designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. There are tons and tons of categories just in the artistic field here. Just an illustration, there's illustrated lettering, digital illustration, graphic illustration, tons of stuff like that you can check out and see and learn whatever you wanna learn. A personal favorite of mine is a Blender course by Remington Markham. It's called Blender 3D, your first 3D character. You can get in and design and rig and shade your first character. Tons of really good stuff in there and a really good teacher behind it. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to the pricey in-person classes and workshops. It's an annual subscription that is less than $10 a month. Now, the first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in my description, you will be getting two months free of a premium membership so you can explore your creativity and have a lot of fun. So there you go. That's today's sponsor. Now let's get into making some scratches. All right, so we're back and let's go ahead and start a new file and we'll make this from scratch. All right, we're in Blender 2.82, and that's very important because if you're just using Blender 2.8, the nodes, specifically the Voronoi node, is going to be different, which is why I'm making this tutorial. Um, there have been some scratches tutorial made in the previous versions, but because the node has changed, um, we need to do some updating. So today is the new version of the scratches material and how to make it. So you can do this because it's procedural. This works on any object you want to apply it onto. I'm just going to be making a simple sphere. Now let's hop on over to the shading tab and uh, start doing this. So I'm gonna click new, make it metallic, and then let's go ahead and get a bump node right here. And we're just gonna be using the bump, but you can apply this to other things to scratch away paint, but I'll show you that when we are finished here. So let's go ahead and get a color ramp. And that's gonna allow us to crunch everything behind it. So let's get this color and plug it right there into the height. And we'll bring the height down a little bit. The first thing I wanna do is add in a noise texture. Plug the factor into the color ramp here. So let's plug it right there. All right, we'll bring the scale up just a little bit, maybe around there, and then we'll get the detail and bring it up to 2.6. <clears throat> and uh, we'll leave the distortion alone. So we just edited a couple things here. Now let's add in a Voronoi texture. Let's get this Voronoi texture and keep it right here and change it to Mikowski and plug the distance into the vector. Now we get this crazy ornamental looking thing. So what we're going to do now is take the color ramp and crunch it in like this, just like that. And I'm going to invert the bump node because we want it to be cutting in right at the time it was extruding it out. So if we um, change the invert, now it's going out. We, these are scratches. So obviously they're going to be going in. So we already have some, uh, basically you get the concept here with the scratches. Now we need to cut that up. So let's get the Voronoi texture and add in another Voronoi texture. And we'll keep everything at default and plug the distance into the vector. Now, if you have the, the node wrangler add-on enabled, hit control T, add that texture setup and change it to the object coordinate. And actually we're gonna take this object coordinate, plug it straight to the vector and delete the mapping. We don't need him. So now we get these really cool little circles and uh, we don't want that. We actually want to only use some of this Voronoi texture to affect this. Actually, I made a mistake. You need to be using the color not the distance. All right, so now we have just some random things going on and it's not scratches at all. So what we need to do is get a mix RGB. And what this is going to allow us to do is only use some of this texture by taking this object coordinate and plugging it into co the color two socket. Now to demonstrate what that does, if you bring it all the way, all the way over here, it's as if the this Voronoi texture was not being used. If you bring it over here, it is using all of this. So what we're gonna do is just take this and slide it over a little bit. And then now we have that, and then we can bring this color ramp and slide it over. And voila, we have scratches everywhere. And then you can bring it in just like that. And you can change the detail to make them smaller or bigger, just like that. So by changing the detail, the noise texture, you can get thinner, smaller scratches. And then you can play with this mix node um, to get different things. I'm going to be maybe bring it around right about here and we get a bunch of scratches all over the place. Now, all right, so what you can do is really cool is say, I want to make a paint material. So I'm going to duplicate this, move it over 
and I'm going to make a new material. So I'm going to click new and I want part of it to be just a very red paint. And then I also want some scratches to reveal some very shiny silver metal underneath that, you know, the paint would have been sprayed over. So what I'm going to do is get a mix shader here just to show you how the scratches material would be used in a practical sense. So I'm going to get in another principled node. And I'm going to move this over here, plug this into the other socket of the mix shader, make this metallic and just a little bit of roughness. So what I'm going to do is bring this up here, get in a color ramp, and then plug the color ramp right here into the factor. Now we're going to click back on over to this shader and we're going to highlight everything except this color ramp right here. Control C. I'm going to go back over here, Control V, and I'm going to hit G to bring them up and then we'll place it right here into the color ramp. Now what that's going to let us do is changing it from linear to constant. We're going to be able to see those scratches get revealed in the paint. And then of course we can also take it. Let's get a bump node right here into the, uh, I believe the red one could be both actually. And then just plug this section right here into the height and invert that node. And now we have paint with a bunch of uh, silver scratches in it. So you can apply that to anything you want and get a bunch of different scratches. And you could take this and say just a couple scratches and just like that. And you have a bunch of nice scratches in your material to mess with it and add some detail and things like that. So there you go. That's how you make those scratches. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.